Why do you think some landlords become successful entrepreneurs while others have a hard time developing the rental business? The harsh truth is that landlording isn't for everyone. But fortunately, there are a few traits that any landlord can develop in order to build wealth while running a property management business. In this podcast, we cover the five key traits or qualities that effective and successful landlords have successfully mastered. Even if you have little to no experience, you too can become a highly successful landlord by focusing on mastering these five easy traits. Hi everybody, my name is Chris, and I want to thank you for joining us for another value-packed Tenant Cloud podcast. If you want to be a more informed, better educated, and successful landlord, then stay tuned. With over a decade of property management experience, we bring you short and sweet, bite-sized pieces of incredibly valuable property management tidbits in 15 minutes or less. So in today's podcast, we want to cover the five qualities of highly effective landlords. And we know that you're short on time. We know you have a busy schedule. So we're going to jump right in and get right to the point. The first thing that we want to cover that every successful or effective landlord Uh, has a pretty good handle on is that they're responsive and they are responsible. Let me explain what I mean. A highly effective landlord tackles all of the issues that arise and they promptly respond to any tenant problems. They don't procrastinate either. Procrastination is often a sign to a tenant that you just don't care. So if somebody puts in a maintenance request, property managers typically will respond to it very, very quickly, especially if it's a third-party property manager. Now, if you're a landlord and you don't have an owner because you are the owner, then there's nobody really lighting a fire underneath of you to make sure that things are getting done in a timely fashion. So you really have to be responsible and make sure that you're holding yourself accountable and doing those things that are necessary to build that solid relationship with your tenants. This does several things. It helps build rapport with your tenants, but it also helps you retain your tenants so you have lower vacancy rates in the long run and your tenants tend to stay around a little bit longer. The second thing is that effective landlords focus on business improvements. And business improvements in property management and in landlording in general is extremely important because as the saying kind of goes, if you're not going up and you're just kind of stagnant, then really you're just kind of not going anywhere. And so successful and effective landlords know that in order to continue improving their business, they need to continue growing. And maybe they even need to continue growing their business, whether that is investing in more rental properties or learning more about marketing their rentals or positioning their rentals in the marketplace or understanding the marketplace, whatever it is, a successful landlord knows that they have to continue improving all the time. They cannot remain stagnant. And that includes things like just better understanding your local market. And so for instance, if you're trying to increase your occupancy rates and decrease your vacancy or increase your uh, rental income on your rental properties. Maybe you need to look into certain things that are changing, such as trends like uh, allowing pets in your rental or targeting your amenities towards more of the younger generations who might be renting in your area. Maybe it's the older generations who are in your area that you need to focus on Uh, maybe repositioning your rental to adapt to who is actually going to be renting your property. And so whatever it is, you want to make sure that you're continually focusing on your business improvements. The third thing is, is you want to make sure that as an effective property manager or landlord, you are keeping everything documented. There is nothing more important in property management than to make sure that you are documenting everything. There are conversations that you may feel like are insignificant that you have with your tenant, but you need to always stop and pause and think about what was discussed and make sure that if anything important was discussed verbally, that you document it and put it in writing. There are many, many, many landlords who have ended up in court cases all across the country for things that were discussed or said or claimed to have been said and they did not document it, and there was nothing documented, and it was a he said, she said situation. And so you want to make sure that everything is documented. That goes for everything from your uh, rental property policies and maybe your community policies, if it's a community, or 
uh, your lease um, amendments or addendums, anything at all, anytime there's a change in the lease, anytime you make a concession, anytime the tenant requests something, it should always be documented in writing. And it's important to have it in writing, so it's helpful to have a way for people to easily and conveniently do that. And obviously, Tenant Cloud is one of those uh, types of softwares that allows you to document everything. Your tenants can put everything in writing. They can submit a maintenance request through the mobile app in writing. They can message you through TC Messenger, and it's recorded in there. You can send them notices, or you can send them uh, property board posts on the property board, and you can respond to them on TC Messenger. And you can update the maintenance request, and you can attach receipts and invoices and so on and so forth. And so it's very important that you, whatever you do, you always keep things documented. All of your interactions with your tenant uh, all of your repairs at your property to show that you did repairs that tenants requested the whole nine yards. So number three was keep everything documented. The fourth thing is, is effective landlords are always willing to continue learning. And this kind of goes hand in hand with focusing on business improvements, but a effective landlord always has a student mentality. In property management, one thing you always come to learn is that you do not know everything and there's always something to learn. There's always an experience that will come out of nowhere and you will learn something that day. And so it's very important that you are always willing to learn. A successful landlord never stops improving their professional skills and they never think that they know everything. So whether that's learning more about real estate laws or just property management in general or the psychology of dealing with people and tenants and conversations or your local regulations, maybe even getting involved in your local property management associations or your apartment associations or just joining Facebook groups or whatever it may be, you want to make sure that you continue to keep learning. That being said, I do want to plug in here that if you are a Tenant Cloud user, you can actually join Tenant Cloud's uh, private Facebook group. So you can search for Tenant Cloud groups on uh, Facebook and join Tenant Cloud's official Facebook group if you have an active account on Tenant Cloud. And that is a great place where you can network with other Tenant Cloud users and you can ask questions to the community and maybe even contribute to the community and help answer basic questions that people may be asking on there. The fifth thing that we want to cover is that effective property managers and landlords have strong communication skills. And this is not something that everybody is proficient at, and that is okay. This kind of goes along with the previous point we just talked about of having a constant attitude of being willing to learn. And so if you don't have strong communication skills, that is perfectly fine, as long as you're willing to focus on learning that skill set because it is extremely important, especially when it comes to managing a rental property successfully. Your communication with your tenants is extremely important. It is actually the most important thing in your rental in terms of making sure that there is an open line of communication and that your tenants are constantly kept up to date and that you're communicating things like when rent is late and how to communicate that late fees, how to how to de-escalate situations where a tenant may be upset. There's a lot of things that go into uh, having strong communication skills, and it all ties back into the landlord-tenant relationship. So it is extremely important to have an, a uh, student mentality, even if you are not a strong communicator. And even if you are, it never hurts to continue to focus and build that communi that your communication skill set even more so because again that is the single most important skill set when it comes to dealing with tenants so those are the top five things that we wanted to cover that the highly effective landlords uh, really are proficient at and they really focus on and it helps them to become successful landlords so we hope that you have found value in this podcast and if you want to learn more and read more in depth on this topic we invite you to go to tenantcloud.com forward slash blog and you can type in the search bar just type in effective landlord and it'll pull up all of the articles related to this topic also, feel free to chime in wherever you are listening to this, and also feel free to rate us on Apple Podcasts, 
and uh, just let us know how we're doing. It helps other people find us on that platform so that more people can get access to this helpful information. As always, thank you for listening. Thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule to listen to this podcast, and we'll look forward to speaking with you next time.